Buying might seem straightforward. After all, it's just a transaction between parties at some point. But good buying needs much, much more than that. Um, in fact, it's the seller's job to get us to buy, to pay more than we need to, to lock us in, to make us come back, and so on. So, in fact, good buying is more about understanding what is happening and being able to, um, to understand it and then use that understanding to assess the power we have. This is not always obvious. After all, the seller will work to convince us that we have always got the best deal and we've got the best deal already or to build some sort of relationship with us that creates obligation. But if we can understand what is happening and we know some simple ways to be able to take control of the process and use whatever power that we might have to our advantage, then we can buy really, really well. Good buying can make a dramatic difference. It can help us save money. It can help us buy at a much lower price point in some cases but it can also help us to get much more value from the supplier and perhaps take away the risk of things going wrong. What is possible depends upon what we are buying and also upon how we decided what we were going to buy in the first place. For example, uh, individuals and companies frequently buy badly just because of the way that things were specified. If you specify a single make or model, because of some preference, um, but really don't need it to be like that, then the potential to buy well is immediately constrained. Often there's good reason behind why we do this, but not always. And so good buying is not just about maximizing our position in the marketplace, but also about considering carefully how we are deciding what it is we want to buy in the first place. Suppliers building relationships is one of the biggest reasons why people buy badly, especially in a company where suppliers will establish close relationships with all of the people who have some sort of involvement in what they provide. And if the supplier can win friends in, say, technical or operational functions, then the buyer's really going to struggle to have much strength. It's also very easy to fail to understand the actual strength, uh, or otherwise, of our position. Often we have much, much more power than we realize, but we just need to be able to see it. Fundamentally, buying is the same in every situation. It is the exchange of something of value for something of value, and the basic principles are the same. However, things do change with scale and with the number of people involved. If we're buying as an individual, then we can decide what we want and we can get on and buy it. If we think a relationship with a supplier will help, say, if we're engaging a builder who will do some work on our house, then we can make this happen. However, as an individual, the power we have will always be limited. Yet in bigger companies, we can have huge buying power, perhaps even enough to change how an entire marketplace operates. Yet here, the number of people we will need to involve and consult with is much, much higher and makes buying more complex.